Okay, I don't want to do your specific problem, but you had a question about a very similar one. You're going to notice the numbers are just slightly different. Um, again, this is from section 2.2. I know we didn't have decimals, but we're going to follow the same process. So first of all, um, we're going to be creating a frequency distribution, right? I'm going to help you set up the table. I think putting the different frequencies, putting these into these boxes is going probably not what's driving you crazy. When I looked at your the problem you worked on, you were having trouble setting up these limits as far as these class widths. Do you t see that they tell us that the lower class limit is supposed to be 2.970? They set that up for us, right? And they also give us a class width of 0 0.010 inches. That means that each one of these needs to be that wide. In the notes, we go over how to specifically um, find class widths if that's not given to us, but they're going to give that to us. So we just need to find where do these categories start and end. So here's the easiest way to do this. To get the left-hand column where each of these categories start, we are just going to add this 0 0.010 to each uh, down to this number. So I'm gonna, I got my calculator right here, and if we have 2.97, here, let me clear this out so you don't see all that other stuff, 2.970, and then we're going to add plus 0 0.010. Hit enter. So that means that this is 2.980. The calculator doesn't give us a zero at the end, but since these all have um, uh, three decimal places, we're going to keep it that way. So again, to get this next one, I'm going to add plus 0 0.010, and then that's going to give us 2.990. And then we're going to do it again, right? We're going to add plus 0 0.01, whoops, 0, 0.10. And that's going to make this 3.000. And then we're going to do it one more time, plus 0 0.010. And that gets us to 3.01. Oh, 0, 1, 0. Now how do we find these lower ones? Look, do you see this? these numbers? It starts at 70 and goes to 80, right? So where would this one, if this one starts at 2.980, this one ends at 2.979, right? Because we're counting, right? You see how this one, 80 starts right here, right? So it goes from 79 to 80. Again, this one starts at 90, 2.990, this would end at 2.989. This one starts at 3.000, so this one ends at 2.999. This one end, starts at 3.010, this one's going to end at 3.009. And then to get this highest one, the class width is going to be from here to 3.019. Because 3 basically, here's the deal. Think about a width. If it goes from 0 to 9, let's count. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's a width of 10, okay? From 0 to 9, if you count those up on your hand, you're going to count 10 things. And then what you need to do is we need to go through and we're going to click on this and we're going to figure out where these go and we're going to count them and we're going to put them in this box, okay, into these specific boxes. So hopefully that helps you with the class width. Let me know if you have any other questions.